they go into MailChimp after you have Zapier. Mm, so, I, yeah, I was thinking that MailChimp is one of the ones that I don't need Zapier for. I think, but actually, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You, you don't, you don't, you don't, you're right. MailChimp is integrated with Facebook already. You're right. You're actually right. But if I were to use Kartra, for example, I would need Zapier, right? No, because oh. with Kartra or with any landing page, with any landing page software, I'm sure, doesn't MailChimp even have landing pages? It does. it does. If anything, you should be using that, like using that landing page because lead generation are, is for those who don't have a landing page. Okay. So if you don't have a landing page, then Facebook provides their landing page, which is called a lead form. Um, and that, and that's what they, when they click on learn more, that's what they end up filling out is a form that Facebook provides. And that's why that lead goes into Facebook. So right here in their lead setup, mm -hmm. this is where you would integrate it with, with, with MailChimp. Yeah. You'll search for providers and MailChimp is one of them. You're right. MailChimp. Yeah. There's MailChimp right there. So you connect it and then, and then, yeah, then you won't, you actually, you know what? Through Zapier automatically push leads to your customs. So you're, you're going to need Zapier anyway. Yeah. You're going to need Zapier. And then, and then when you get to 2000 leads or whatever it is with MailChimp, then you got to pay for MailChimp. Yeah. So you got MailChimp fee, monthly fee. You're going to have a Zapier monthly fee. Um, and that's just already one too many. That's why I don't go lead. That's why I don't go lead generation. And um, so, and, and what about um, with Kartra? How many people, how many, leads do they allow before with Karcher or with any other landing page software for your objective which is to capture a lead which is to drive someone to a presentation page that's right. capturing a lead right. that's that would be conversion so okay. now if you have a Karcher or if you have a click funnels or any or even a MailChimp landing page whatever it would be conversions okay um, but to answer your question I think it's like, it's, it's $99. Well, actually let's just go to the pricing. I think it's, I think it's the $99 plan and it goes up to 2,500. Okay, cool. Cause it took me a while to get there. Yeah. Kartra pricing. It's, um, packages. And can you see my screen? I sure can. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's this one right here, the starter. You wouldn't really need anything, anything other than the starter right now, yeah. but, um, let me wait for this to load real quick. Yeah, that that um, starter package up to twenty five hundred leads, and then you can have your one domain, which is all you really need, and then fifteen thousand emails a month can be sent out, mm -hmm. um, and then a hundred pages. If you need a hundred pages, you can put fifty videos on there. You can sell twenty different products. You can build two membership sites, and so that's the fourteen day trial, and then ninety nine dollars a month. But but again, that's what everybody does. So any any anybody who's well, actually, let me, let me rephrase that nine, nine, nine and a half out of 10 people. Mm -hmm. And don't ask me how I got the half of a person, but I'm just, I'm just using, I'm just exaggerating a little bit. Nine and a half out of 10 people have a landing page and they run conversions. They don't do lead generation. One out of 10 does. And that's okay. the person that, that is trying to Mickey Mouse it because they don't have a landing page software. Um, and they're still using multiple free softwares to try to make it happen. Mm -hmm. But the moment you really take it up to the next level, you'll want, you'll need a landing page software. You'll want some type of email automation. You'll want a membership course. If you're going that route, you'll want an online calendar. If you're going that route and you're into appointments. So and I do have an online calendar. It's not candidly, but it's something similar. Like schedule so once. It's called, um, meat Fox, something yeah. like that. So yeah. if you're paying for it, if it's free, then that's cool. But again, yeah. that's now a separate software. Yeah. But if, if anything, you'll eventually end up having to pay for it. Eventually, I don't care if it's five bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, it's a dollar too many. Yeah, I agree. You know, especially if I can have it all in, in one. But, but, the, but what this if, is, if you do the conversions, yeah. Yeah, it would be conversions. So, okay. so before you even go that route, before you even come in here, smash the green button, choose conversions, and then go through the, the, the ad setup process, one, one thing you're going to actually a few things. Yeah. The pixel for sure needs to go on all pages. So whatever, it's not just the landing page. It's also the thank you page. It's, but it's, it's for sure the thank you page. So as a person goes to your landing page, 
they enter their name and email because they want to watch your presentation. They submit, they come to the presentation page, that page right there, the pixel needs to be on for sure. But that page, that thank you page, which is the presentation page, the webinar page, that page has to be set up as a custom conversion. So let me just give you a list of everything you'll need to go and set up. Um, and number one is the Facebook pixel on all pages. Number two is the custom audiences. That's the, the one of the most important. They're all important, but that, that for sure is what everybody misses. You have to set up custom audiences. Now you don't have to, it's not required, but at the same time, you'll be spending way more than you need to on Facebook ads. You, you won't be segmenting your audiences the correct way at all. You'll be targeting people who already registered for your webinar. And that'd be a waste of money because you're not segmenting the people who are landing on specific pages. There's one type of person who lands on the landing page. There's a different type of person who landed on your, on your presentation page. There, 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 there's a different, yeah. And, and then there's a different type of person who land, who actually scheduled an appointment with you. So all these different types of people that are landing on different pages inside of your funnel need to be categorized and that's custom audiences. So when you start running, like when you start running ads to your presentation page, let me give you a, are you familiar with custom audiences? Just so I don't waste your time if you're, if you do. If um, you're. As you're talking about it, it's making sense to me. Okay. Here, here's the deal then. Here's why this is so important. And again, this is what everybody fails to do. Custom audiences, as you start to run Facebook ads, like let, like, let me just give you a real example. Let's look at a real ad. Like, so if we're just scrolling through the news feed, seeing what our friends are up to, seeing what everybody is posting, and then all of a sudden we come across a sponsored ad. This is a Facebook ad. This is a conversions ad. So there's the text, there's the image, and right when I click on learn more, here's what happens. Here's the custom audience. So right when I click on learn more, and here's the, here's, here's the reality as well. Out of 10 people, see, he's taking me to Messenger. He's trying to get me to conversate in Messenger. That's one option. So he's mm -hmm. sending, he's sending the, straight, the conversation straight to Messenger. The moment I click on Get Started, he mm -hmm. has an automated messaging system. He's not sitting here, you know, twiddling his thumb, trying to message people. Yeah, right. He has an entire automated message system all set up through, um, through, through um, what's the damn thing called? Um, through, uh, where's it at? Um, what's, I know I had it saved. I, it's going to bug me. It's a, um, Facebook messenger. What's the dang name again? It is, where's it at? It is Facebook messenger bot. What's the stupid name that's going to many chat, many chat, many chat. So this guy, so anyone that's running a Facebook ad and I click on learn more and he's taking me straight to messenger. This could be a person, this guy right here, he's an eight figure earner. This guy does landing pages all, all day in his sleep, but this is just one ad that he's running. I click on get started. He has an entire many chat, which is the software, which it's free. It's free to a certain extent, but then you got to start paying for it. But that's just a series of automated messages that will start going out through okay. messenger. That's one way. That's one way. But let me show you a different one. Let me show you um, what a custom audience would be. So I scroll through, I scroll through, let's see another ad. Where's the ads? Here's another ad. Actually, but that's TikTok. Let me show you something different. Let me show you a random person. Um, because this is so important. This is so important. You don't want to run ads before you do this. So if I click, so here's a sponsored ad. Let's see where this guy takes me. So he's taking me off of Facebook. He's taking me straight to a landing page. So he didn't take me to Messenger through ManyChat. He did not take me to a Facebook lead form, which would have been lead generation, right? He's running conversions and he's taking me straight to a page. So here's the deal. It doesn't matter what type of business you're building. It could be anything. It does not matter. The numbers, the reality behind the numbers is when you're running a Facebook ad, out of 10 people who click, 10 people click, and they come here, you're going to have approximately seven of them leave. And that's your bounce rate. Mm -hmm. And I'll just use these numbers as an example, but they're very, very accurate. Seven out of 10 will end up leaving. Three will actually claim their spot and fill out the form and watch your presentation. And, 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 and the way the numbers really are, one out of 10, and you're a wealthy woman, Yvonne. 
So you don't need, you don't, so, so I can have seven leave. I don't care. I could bank off a 1%. That's the reality. I got, I got mentors. I got coaches of mine that mm -hmm. reach eight figures a year off of 1%. So you don't need everyone at all, but here's how custom audiences work. The seven people who left, those are all people now in a custom audience. So those people I'm going to put all in a bucket. And I'm going to name that bucket, which is a custom audience. I'm going to name it page visitors. Mm -hmm. Those are people who came here, but did not fill out the form. Mm -hmm. So the reason why that's so important is because they got here. They didn't fill it out for whatever reason, for many different reasons. Now the seven out of 10, I'm not saying those are seven people that didn't like your offer. I'm not saying those are seven people that read this and they're like, yeah, right. She's lying. No, those are seven people that were, one of them was probably driving. One of them was probably cooking dinner and all of a sudden the freaking beans were burning. And, and, and one of them could be changing diapers and they're just on their phone and they saw your ad and they're like, hey, what's this? But they're changing diapers, right? Many, many different things. Another person could have been driving and they're driving and they just couldn't type, but they're on their phone messing around like everybody does, right? So those seven people are, could be very, very legitimate, but for whatever reason, they didn't fill out the form I need to know that. Like, I want to know that because now that's my custom audience. Those are people who saw my ad, something piqued their interest. They came over here, but for whatever reason, they didn't fill out the form. Now what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to run my next ad and target them. As you start to do big numbers, as you start to run ads and get thousands of people, that's what you're doing. You're getting thousands of people to see your ad. These are big numbers. That's why 1% of a big number is a lot. So seven out of 10 can leave. I don't care. The three people that actually come through, the one person who actually buys. And if I'm selling a thousand dollar course and I have one person buy per day, that's 30,000 a month just on the front end. Right. So, so we don't need everyone, but I want to be able to track everyone. That's super important because the seven people who left, who didn't fill it out, there was an interest. It might've not been the right timing right now, but I'm going to show them my next ad and I'm going to retarget them because I'm going to retarget that custom audience. I'm going to retarget them and they're going to keep seeing me until they're in, in, until they, until they opt in. That's one audience. The next audience is those who come here. And those who actually fill out the form. So they come here and they actually opt in to watch your presentation. Here is the next custom audience. This next page right here, two things need to happen. Number one, it needs to be set up as a custom audience. And number two, it needs to be set up as a custom conversion. This URL at the very, very top. So whatever this URL is for this guy, David Hill, this URL needs to be set up as a custom conversion. So before you can come into the Facebook ad manager and run conversions, you want to set up the thank you page, the presentation page as a custom conversion. That's number one. And then number two, you need to set it up as a custom audience because everyone who lands here, now I'm going to be able to create a custom audience inside of Facebook. And now I, I put all these people who land here in one bucket and that custom audience bucket are leads and the reason why that's so important because as i continue to run ads now i can exclude everyone who landed here right because don't keep running ads to me every week if i've already watched your presentation i'm right. going to get annoyed and you're going to spend way more money than you need to right because you're targeting people who already opted in you're not segmenting these leads. You're not segmenting the audience, I should say. And that's so important. And, and then again, if you're in the, if you're in the business of, of appointments, if you're trying to get people on the phone and, and someone goes to your calendar, like for example, with you, I sent you a link to my calendar. I didn't just say, hey, Yvonne, what time? Okay, cool, I'll schedule it. I actually, I actually sent you the link to my calendar. And here's what happened. As you went to my calendar, this is my Karcher calendar. As you went to my calendar and you scheduled an appointment, here's what happened. You came in here, you scheduled an appointment. And once you click on submit, this next page that shows up, my Facebook pixel is on this page as well. 
And through Facebook, I'm able to create a custom audience. That custom audience is schedule. So, so if I'm in the type, if I'm in the business of getting people to schedule appointments and I'm running Facebook ads to make that happen, I got to be able to segment these people because these are people who have already scheduled an appointment. Now, as I run future Facebook ads, I need to exclude these people. They don't need to keep seeing my ad. They've already sketched an appointment. Right. Right. So that's custom audiences like custom audiences is 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 the most important and it's basic and it's what everybody misses and it's why they end up spending way more money on facebook advertising and and why they don't capture as many leads as they as they want because number one it starts here you're going with the wrong objective like yeah. especially especially if you're trying to drive someone to a webinar it's not lead generation because all that's going to do is send somebody to a lead form you capture their information and then that's it. In the lead form, you can definitely send them to a page after that, mm -hmm. but it's just one too many steps. Take them to a landing page, capture the lead, and that's it. Now they're in your email automation. Now they're on your second page watching the presentation. Mm -hmm. There's no hiccups. There's no, you're taking someone through a lead form. You're asking them questions. They're getting, they're, they're filling out a form. It's like, no, do you just ask for my name and email? You know, so Lead generation is not, is not what you want to be doing, especially for webinars. I don't know one person who's doing webinars that run, runs lead generations. And I study this stuff daily. You know, you, I think that I was, I was watching something and they were just saying that it's just good to get leads and have, have to test your audiences, right? So like, you know, um, yeah, just to test your audiences and see what happens in terms of leads. Or I think that they were just kind of, was kind of like an introduction to Facebook advertising. So I think they just, but it mm -hmm. doesn't make sense to write at the point that I'm at, which is, um, you know, I've got the webinar ready. Um, actually, I've got it ready. I just need to upload it. I guess I'm going to have to upload it to, mm -hmm. um, to, to, um, to YouTube so that it could, it could play on demand. But um, I have that landing page ready. I've got See, you don't want, you don't want them. You don't want to send them to, to YouTube at all. Like at all, at all. You don't want to send them to YouTube. Like the one I just showed you was a YouTube video and that's just a test video. It's not, my presentation is not seven minutes. My presentation is 70 minutes, mm -hmm. but I haven't uploaded it into this page just yet. So what I just showed you as the example, I took it to the landing page. I opted in. Then we're now on the web class in progress. This video right here is just a test video. It's seven minutes. I'm just testing my tag. I'm testing everything to make sure it works. Here's my, once, once, that, once that video is played and once, let's just say, for example, we reach six minutes, then the bottom part opens up and this is where a countdown clock is. And this is where now I'm explaining everything that is in the actual course. They click get started. This is another super important part on that presentation page when they click to buy you better be taking them to a separate page mm -hmm. so look this is my presentation page the bottom opens up after a certain amount of time after a certain amount of minutes there's mm -hmm. the buy button they can see it right there um and then also there's another buy button down at the bottom so down here there's another buy button but what i'm saying is that buy button when i click on it you need to take me to a separate page. This is the checkout page. The reason why this is so, so important is because again, you need to be segmenting these audiences. My right. Facebook pixel is on this page. I created a custom audience and also a custom conversion around everyone who lands here. A person who watched my presentation clicked buy now came to this specific page is a completely different type of person who just landed on my landing page. So now I have these people who, who landed here on a specific custom audience and that custom audience is TSREA add to cart. These people clicked the buy button. They clicked the buy button. They came here and here's what's going to happen. Out of 10 people who actually come here, you may have, let's just say, let's just say five out of 10. It, I could even say seven out of 10. You're going to have seven out of 10 leave. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we're both perfect examples because you and I, we're average consumers ourselves. How many mm -hmm. times have you been on a website 
added something to the cart and haven't checked out? How many times have you been on Amazon, added stuff to your cart, and you may, you may have not checked out? That's a different type of person. That's a different type of buyer. So let's say, for example, five out of 10. Five people landed here but didn't check out. That's a custom audience. So now, as I go run my next Facebook ad, I can target these people only. Hey guys, this is David. Just wanted to send out a video, get you guys through my Facebook ad. I noticed you guys came to my add to cart page and didn't check out. Let me tell you a little bit more and add some more value to why people are joining this program and why this could be the best thing you do as well. Mm -hmm. That Facebook ad is talking to a specific audience, a specific person, someone that got this far. Someone that got this far, the five out of 10, the five that actually left, they left because of whatever reason, but let's just call it cold feet. Let's say by the time they got here, they're like, damn, 497, shit, I, okay, damn, I don't got that right now, damn, I'm gonna leave. But it's like, dang, they got that far. You know, so if I can drop a video and if I can continue to retarget them because I have them all in a bucket, and I can keep running different ads to them, talking to them specifically. Maybe I do a video interviewing Yvonne. Yvonne is a, is a paying student. She paid $4,997. And now I'm doing an interview with her. And she's telling me exactly what the course was able to do for her. And that's a video that I'm going to leverage and run an ad on. And I'm going to run that ad to only those people who got that far. Right? So is this kind of making sense? Yeah, it's making complete sense. So when you're writing conversions, you then are um, having to put the pixel on a different page of your web, every page of your website or every page that you yes. need it. Yeah, for sure. The pixel goes on every page, but at the same time, what I'm really saying is that every page is a different type of person. Right. So every page needs to be set up as a custom audience. Okay. So you can then run ads in the future to those specific audiences. Yeah, and so Facebook will create that audience for you or mm -hmm. you have to tell it, right? That, that, tell that's it. the only reason why, like people trip out on Facebook, this whole data thing and, and how in the hell does Facebook have all this data on everybody? The reason why is because everybody who, who, who knows at least something that has an actual website, anybody, anybody today that has an actual website, if they know a little bit about anything nowadays, that pixel is on it. Yeah. That's how Facebook knows everything. Because wherever the heck you're surfing online, yeah. chances are the person who owns that website has their pixel on it. Yeah. That's how Facebook has all this data on us. Because yeah. they know what the heck Yvonne's clicking on. Because whatever the heck she's clicking on, those people have their Facebook pixel on that site. Yeah. And so Facebook, you can all automatically tell it run this ad to this audience. Heck this yeah. Ad. Heck yes. That's, that's where all the magic is. The yeah. magic isn't in your upfront ad. So the magic isn't in your upfront conversions. The magic is when you're retargeting all these different audiences. This person landed on the presentation page. This person landed on the add to cart page. It's when I'm retargeting all these different audiences that are already engaging with my pages. They're either engaging with my pages or they're engaging with my videos because mm -hmm. custom audiences, what I'm showing you now is the fact that every page needs to be set up as a custom audience because every page is a different person. Not only does it go that, that way, but a custom audience also works with your videos. So if you're doing any kind of videos, if you're running ads on videos, let's say you do a two minute video explaining your presentation explaining your webinar, explaining the benefit of, 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 of watching it and, and, and registering for it. And, and, and you're doing a video, you know, and you're running a Facebook ad on that. And let's say it's a two minute video. Facebook is going to allow you to create a custom audience of all those who watched 30 seconds of it. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to create a custom audience of all those who watched one minute of it. And why in the heck is that so important? Because if you're going to sit there and watch one minute of my two minute video, you're freaking interested. You may not have, look, let me show you an example. Let's scroll through the news feed. Let's see if we come across a sponsored ad, a sponsored video. Let's just scroll through, scroll through. Okay. Perfect. 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 Ready to go. 
Oh, where did it go? I just had it. Is it this mm -hmm. one? Up one more, I think. Uh, oh, wait, where did he go? Oh, he was further down. Um, so um, he um, okay, we can use this. Perfect. This, this is another example. Okay, cool. Look, look, this right here is a one minute video. So look, right. it's a one minute video. There's the text. There's the video. And this guy right here, I don't know if you're fami familiar with Alex Becker, but this guy is literally, literally an eight figure per year earner. He makes well over, well over 15 million a year selling courses. Um, this guy right here, specifically Alex Becker, running a Facebook ad, the video is one minute. So if I click on book now, he's taking me to a page outside of Facebook. So he's not using lead generation. He's not using Facebook's lead form. He took me off of Facebook to a Kartra page, for example, or it could be a ClickFunnels page, whatever. But he took me off. And, and so now he has his Facebook pixel. You can tell because I have this, you know, plugin up here, Facebook pixel helper. This lets me know who is tracking me with their pixel. So number one, he has, their, he has his Facebook pixel tracking everyone who lands here. But for sure, this guy also has me now in a audience. He has me in a custom audience. He knows I landed here. So now as he runs his next ad, he's going to target me because he knows I got here. But okay. let's say, for example, it's a video. Let's say, for example, I did not click. He's also tracking me because for the fact that I now watched 30 seconds of his one minute video. Right. He's now tracking me because I now watched 40 seconds of his one minute video. So that right there is also a custom audience. He also has set up for sure an audience of all those who watched the entire thing. Now he's going to take, forget about the website, forget about me clicking on book now and landing on his landing page. Forget about that. He now has a specific audience of all those who watched the video. So now he's going to turn around and run another ad directly to all those who watched the video. That is a custom audience. Cool. So the magic is in custom audiences. The magic is in retargeting and continually running ads to those who are either clicking on it and coming to your page or just simply watching the video. You have to have custom audiences set up. So number one, the pixel, number two, the custom audiences, and number three, the custom conversions. Um, and then also for sure, you want to set up a custom lookalike audience, a custom look. Are you familiar with the lookalike audience? Um, tell me what it is. I think okay. I heard somebody say it's like a warm audience. A, a lookalike audience is when you really start to leverage Facebook and you let Facebook find your audience. But the, the lookalike audience is based off of your custom audience. So for example, this guy ran a, ran a one minute video. I watched the one minute video. I am now in his custom audience. What's the title of his custom audience? Those who watched one minute, it's that simple. That's a custom audience. But what you do to extend it is you create a lookalike audience. So now you tell Facebook, hey, here's my audience of a thousand people who watched one minute of my video. Now what I want you to do, Facebook, is I want you to go find me people who look like this. Okay. And, and of course, Facebook has all that data. Oh, so heck yeah. So now you use them to go find your audience. You don't got to do nothing no more. So now as you go run a Facebook ad, you don't even have to put in the targeting. You don't have to target a certain person. These people like Tony Robbins. These people like um, freaking Les Brown. Like you don't got to target nothing no more. At that point, this is months down the line after you ran ads, after your custom audiences are, 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 are built after that Facebook pixel has, has enough data, we're talking three, four months down the line after you're consistently running ads. That's when you can now only run ads to lookalike audiences because now Facebook is going to show, is going to find hundreds of thousands of people that look like your ideal customer. And, and how do they know that? Because of your custom audiences. You told Facebook, this person who landed on the, on the presentation page is this person. This person who landed on the, on the landing page is this person. This person who watched my video is that type of a person. Custom audiences. Now you show that to Facebook and they just simply clone it. And that's how you scale. That's scaling. You won't need that right now, but you want to set it up now. You want the data to start collecting now. 
You yeah. won't be able to use a lookalike audience, nor would you need to look, use a lookalike audi audience anytime soon. But, but by the time you're ready to scale, and scale means by the time you're, and I want you thinking big, Yvonne. I want you thinking big. You might not be super crazy huge budget right now, but I want you thinking big. Scaling is when you get to the point where you're spending, when you're spending, when you're spending, I mean, when you're spending five to 10 grand a day on Facebook advertising. That's yeah. when you're leveraging the lookalike audience. That's down the line. That's like down the line. But, but the setup starts now is what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying is, is you, you have it all set up now and you have all your ducks in a row now so Facebook can start learning who your ideal client is. Okay. And that's by having everything set up the right way the first time. You know, yeah. so in awesome. your case, yeah. I just, I just, um, I didn't mean to take over the call, but I just mm -hmm. truly believe I already know what you're looking for. And I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but but it just no, sounds like no, I think you were right. I think you're right. You know, I'm 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 trying out this coaching thing, and you know, it's different than what I've been doing in terms of the film festival. So yeah, absolutely. It's just it's, mm -hmm. and I don't want to. You know, obviously, none of us starting out. You know, I shouldn't say that. Maybe there are people, but we don't want to. Nobody wants to spend more than they need to. Yes, so, like yeah. at all, at all. Like so, so I. I, I, I cannot encourage you enough to, to at least set up a 14-day trial with Kartra and get back into it and compare it to everything you got going on. Mm -hmm. Like com compare it to all these other softwares that you're using. That's number one. And then number two, I truly believe you, you need to know how to run these Facebook ads. Like, like you, I, don't, I don't know if you're fully, fully there yet. Like you don't have, if you don't have these audiences set up, if you don't have the conversion set up, um, if you don't have the pixel on every page, you're, you're just missing the biggest, the biggest parts of it. And, and yeah. your ads are not going to, are not going to, not going to, um, um, perform. And then also the last thing, the last thing is multiple ad sets. You have to set up multiple ad sets. So as you come in to Facebook and you click that green button, let's say we go with conversions. That's step one. The objective is, is, is choosing the correct objective. That's step one. Step two is the ad set level. So step yeah. two is now we're going to choose our budget. We're going to choose our targeting. Um, that's step two. That's the ad. So over here, you got the campaign. We went with conversions. You have the ad set where we're now going to going to tell Facebook where we want to run the ad, how much we want to spend on the ad, and 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 who we want to target. That's the that's the second step. And then the third step is the ad whether you're running an image or whether you're running a video, that's the third step. That's yeah. the third step. But in the, in, the, in the second step, the ad set, here's what's super, super important. And this is, what everyone, this is where everyone also gets it wrong. Hey, Steve, I'll be right with you, buddy. This, this is my buddy Steve right here on the, on the line, Yvonne. Um, <laughs> but here's, here's what's super, super important. And I'm going to be helping Steve with this today as well. But here's where everyone gets it wrong. And also, here's the audiences. So, so as I'm explaining these custom audiences, the lookalike audience, if I had one set up, that's where I would target. If yeah. I have a custom audience set up, website visitors, yeah. that's where I would put it. And that's who I would target. So now I'm going to target my website visitors. But here's where, and, and then the location, and then here's where everyone gets it wrong. Now we're talking about the targeting. So this is when you find different people's interests. Maybe you target Les Brown. Maybe you target people who follow Tony Robbins. Maybe yeah. you target people, whatever, right? You're targeting. Here's where everyone gets it wrong. Everyone would come in here and they'll simply put, let, let's just say, I'm, let's say I'm, I'm running a personal development or a coaching program and I want to target influencers that are, that are in that space because that's yeah. what you want to do. You'd want to target, you know, people who are following bigger yeah. people than you. Yeah. yeah. A huge, a huge problem and a huge, um, um, just, just, yeah, I guess problem that, that people, people end up doing a big mistake is they'll fill this up with a bunch of different ones. Yeah. And like so you don't know which one is the one that really works for you. Yes. They'll come in here and they'll just do, they'll do browse and they'll come in here and do interest and they'll come in entertainment and they'll, they'll choose all these different, different keywords. And, and, yeah. and, 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 and it's logical or it's obvious or it's, or, it, or it's, it's, it, it's not the fact that they're, they're wrong by think by doing that. I mean, if you have all these different keywords and those are all relevant keywords to what you're doing. Okay, great. I can see why you would do that. 
but that's just not how you do it. That's just not what you want to do. So multiple ad sets is when you do one at a time. So you do mm -hmm. less Brown and you run that. Let's say for example, our budget is 25 bucks a day. Let's say, well, let's say we're, we're, we're planning on spending 25 bucks a day. What you want to do is you want to have five different ad sets. So one ad set is going to target less Brown. And then I'm going to hit next. I'm going to complete the ad. And then I'm going to let the ad go into review and get ready to run. But as it's in review, I'm going to come back and I'm going to create another ad set. And all I'm going to change is I'm going to change less Brown. And now I'm going to, on the second ad set, I'm going to target Tony Robbins. Yeah. And, and that's now I have two ad sets, one ad, but I have two ad sets. So now yeah. I'm going to go in. So once I hit next and once I finalize it, I'm going to come back in and create a third one. And now I'm going to target maybe Oprah Winfrey. She's a huge right. influencer, right? Everyone follows her. So now I'm going to target on the third ad set, Oprah Winfrey. And so now I, I have 25 bucks a day, but I have $5 per day running to each one. And after, let's just call it, let's just say after five days, after five to seven days, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look at which one is the winner. And if it's Oprah is the winner, I'm going to turn off the other four. Yeah. And I go I, all in with Oprah. Yeah. But I, and that's, that's testing, that's split testing, that's multiple ad sets. So for, for anyone to think that, okay, I'm going to just come in here. I'm going to put in a bunch of keywords of people that are, that are, are keywords that are relevant with what I'm targeting. That's not how you want to do it. You want to do, you want to, you want to set up multiple and, and four, you could do four. Like, so if you're doing 20 bucks a day, you have four of them, five bucks a day each. And again, after a few days, you'll see which one wins. You do that on the ad set level and you do that on the ad level. The way to do it on the ad level, there's two different ways to do it on the ad level. On the ad level, what you want to do after you publish it, after it's in review and, it, and, it, and it's ready to go live, it's not going to go live right away. So you have plenty of time to come in here and, 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 and do what I'm saying. That ad, once you publish it and it goes into review, you'll be in review for, for a couple hours. And then at the same time, you won't schedule it to go live right now anyways. The way I would teach you or the way anyone, I would encourage you just to keep in mind, if you're running the ad right now and you're setting everything up right now, schedule it to go live tomorrow mm -hmm. that way you have plenty of time to do all this stuff yeah. schedule it to go live tomorrow and 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 i always recommend 6 a.m 6 a.m local time is when when that when that ad could go live so schedule it for that but here's here's the split testing on the ad level and this is your third and final level so the campaign level the ad set level the ad level and this is what you want to do because if you don't do this you're not going to know you're going to spend way more you're not going to know which ad is working you're going to be turning off ads setting up new ads when you can do it all at once do it all at once so the way the ad level works is whatever so by the time you get to the third step what everybody does is they'll choose their image they'll choose their video and that's it all i'm saying is multiply that all i'm saying is set up four more and so what you'll do is you'll either you'll either create four different images or you'll create four different headlines so there's the primary text and there's the headline. So for example, on an ad, look, here's the actual, here's the text, there's the text, there's the video, there is the headline. Ad waste ruins scaling and margins. Let Hyros fix that. That's the headline. So what this guy does is because this guy is a major, major marketer, this guy, he has probably five different videos running all through this one campaign. And yeah. again, after a few days, he'll be able to come back and look at the analytics and see which one pops. Okay, yeah. I can see which one works the best and then he can get rid of the other ones. He turns off the other ones. Now, now again, there's two ways to do that. Either you're going to have five different videos or let's just say four. We'll use four. You're either going to have four different videos or you have four different images or you have four different headlines. Yeah. So if, if, if you want to run with one video, okay, that's fine. If you want to run with one image, that's fine. If, that, if this guy over here is running with one video, okay, that's fine. But what he's testing is he's testing four different headlines. Mm -hmm. This one that we're seeing, ad waste, ruins, scaling, and margins. That's one headline. His other headline could be, let Hyros fix your ads that are being ruined and wasting money, right? It's just a different variation of the headline. And so it's, it's four different ones. 
So, so you're testing all that at one time with your one budget rather than running one ad for a week and, and it doesn't perform. And then you go set up another ad and run that. It's like, dude, do it all at once, you know? So that right there, I literally just gave you a crash course. Like it's, it's that right there is what you have to, you have to be thinking, you have to have that in place or, or you're going to just be messing around, wasting money, trying to run different ads that aren't going to do nothing for you. Yeah. You know, so, so let me know if you need help with that. Like, let me know, you know, stay in touch. Let me know if, if, if you need help with that. Cause that's, that's, that's where I, I really get joy out of is teaching you how to run these ads the right way. Cause this, if, if you're not using Kartra and you're using other software, that's fine. Keep everything in place. But if you don't have this Facebook ad side down, none of that matters. Yeah. Like yeah. none of that matters. Well, I'm going to make a decision today regarding Kartra and then, um, but yeah, and I'm going to start to, my goal is by, you know, actually I was hoping that, you know, by, by Thursday morning, I would have some ads running. So I'm ready. I'm, I'm like, I've got to get this done this week. I just don't have um, time to, you know, delay much more. So I just want to make sure all of the other components, as you said, like, everything is in place so that we can, I can move forward. So, but I will keep you posted. Yeah. Let me know. All those need to be set up on Facebook first. Don't, don't just run that out on Thursday without any of that set up. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. What you, you know, mean. like those yeah. audiences, the custom conversion, the pixel on every page. Yeah. Like that, that needs to be set. And then, and then running multiple ad sets, multiple ad sets or multiple images or videos. Yeah. I was going to do multiple ad sets. I wasn't thinking about doing like multiple, um, like split testing the, um, like the headline. Cause that's what I would probably do. I'd probably just use the same message and maybe just split the headline. It's one but, or the other. It's, it's either you're going to, you're going to, you're going to have a variation for different headlines or you're going to have four different images or videos. Yeah. So it's so, not, it, you don't have to do both headline and video or image. It's just, it's yeah, just no, I was just going to actually, other. originally I was just going to do one. So I'll do, I mean, just one ad and then see how it works in different ad sets. But I, but you're right. So if I were to do like a different headline, would that go to the same people? No, so like, for example, if I'm doing five different, like if I'm doing, as you mentioned, Oprah and I'm doing Tony Robbins and, you know, Les Brown. Mm -hmm. So, and I've got one ad that has the same headline. So I need to know between those three audiences, I, I want to be make sure, making sure I'm comparing apples with apples. So oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I'll have all those, I'll have the same ad for those three audiences. But if I have a different headline, would it also go to those same audiences? It can. It's yeah, it can. Facebook, Facebook is running your ad to everyone that you're targeting in that, in that specific interest. So to see, like I, you know, if I do a different headline to a different audience, I really still don't know. Well, I guess I could. No, you're going to know all that. You're going to see it all here in the analytics. Like you're going to know the, the results. You're going to know how many leads came in. Like you're going to know the cost per lead. Like this is an older campaign that I ran. Like this is all I care about are the results. 80 leads came in at 626 per lead. Yeah. And but so what, you'll see that times four. Yeah. And then, and then you'll, you'll be like, okay, great. Those, this one cost me 626, but the other one cost me 125. Let me shut off this one and run with the 125. It could have been the other headline. It could have been the other image. It doesn't even matter. Like Facebook's running to everyone constantly. And, and it's these analytics that you just need to pay attention to. But you don't look at it right away. Like give it time. Give it five to seven days and then come in here and, and look. Because here's the deal. If I'm telling you 25 bucks a day for, let's just say, seven days, like, yes, that's, that's, that's some money being spent. But at the same time, in seven days, you're going to shut off those ones that are not performing or are not giving you the best cost per result, which is the cost per lead. You're going to shut those off. And that winner, you're going to go all in on. And that winner is going to make you back everything you lost. So don't no, look I, at it as a I, loss. I understand that concept completely. It, I was just thinking in terms of variables and what's a true A-B split. So in other words... What I'm saying is if I were to put a different headline in front of a different audience, mm -hmm. that's two variables. It's not one. Am I making sense? Just yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. 
politics, right? So one of the variables is a different audience. The other variable is that it's a different headline. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it makes it, if it even matters. We just need to figure out what's what works, right? It doesn't really it, matter what it, it doesn't because what it really what's really happening is it's pretty much like a round robin. Like yeah. Facebook is just is just round robin all these headlines and all these images and all these different audiences that you're targeting. It's just yeah. round robin. They're just showing it to everyone in different ways at different times to see which one is the one that pops. Yeah, and that's you're right. So it doesn't really matter. I'll just try I'll I'll just try two different um yeah. Yeah. You, you want to run with at least four, set up four ad sets Four set up four ad sets and set up four different either headlines or four different images. Yeah. And again, I, I, you want to, for, especially for, for a webinar or presentation, you want to be at at least, at at least, you want to roll it out at at least, at least 20 bucks a day, like at least minimum 20 bucks a day. But, yeah. but at the same time, the way you want to look at it also is, is what's your net profit? Like, what do you make? you know, per, 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 per cell. Mm -hmm. That's how you have to look at it. And, and that's why a lot of times low ticket offers don't work with Facebook. And that's why you see everyone, all these ads, every ad, I don't, every, we all see different ads, but every ad that I see, every ad is taking me to a webinar. Yeah. Like every ad, every ad's taking me to some type of presentation, some type of webinar, and there's either a coaching program to be sold or some type of consulting program to be so, sold. Right. But the reason why that's so big and the reason why that's so profitable is because of the profit margin. Most of these courses are anywhere from a thousand to five thousand. Right. So, so I so, have, right. So running, spending three hundred dollars and you're making or spending five hundred even and you're making for every sale, you're making a thousand or two thousand. Yes. Like what are you going to what, what, what are you selling your course for? So I have two things that I'm that I'm I'm doing. I have a course that I've got for nine ninety seven. It's still based on the same thing, and then I have the coaching program, which is going to be two thousand dollars a month to See, get me, you know, to actually get you to that level where you are. Yeah. Um, you know, where you're, you know, on CNN, that kind of thing. So that's See, what the call is. Yeah. The, the 997, just that alone, that 997, you literally need to be running ads at a minimum of a hundred bucks a day. Okay. Like that's a crazy profit. Like it might sound scary up front if we're not making any sales. Hell yeah. Like who the hell wants to go a whole full week spending 700 and we didn't make one sell. But for you to spend a whole week 700 and not make one sell, something's wrong. Okay. Something's either wrong with that presentation. Something's wrong with your, with your Facebook ad targeting. Okay. And that's why these custom audiences, the custom conversion, the pixel, the multiple ad sets, the multiple ads, that's why the, all that has to be in place. If you have all that in place, you'd be able to run out a hundred bucks a day and be profitable by the end of the day. If I can run a hundred bucks a day and, and, and make a thousand, I could do that every damn day. Yeah be cool and then you know with it being an online program if it's already recorded and done then you're hands off and you, you're working yep. on the next program yeah y yeah that that that's where i'm at right now like i'm a, i'm literally just a couple of days away from launching mine like i gotta just fix my presentation page and, and that's it but i have an entire you know thing that i'm that i'm rolling out at, at 1500 so 1497 is what i'm running and and i'll be spending yeah i'll be spending about 100 bucks a day and, and I'll, and, and I literally am projecting to sell anywhere from five to seven per day. Amazing. So if I can make, you know, if I can make my, my whole goal is to make 10,000 a day. Like that's my, my goal, my ultimate goal, like right away. Like I'm not talking long-term. No, like within the next, within the next few, few weeks, I want to be at 10,000 a day. Oh, that's and that's so spending, that's spending a hundred bucks a day on Facebook ads. That's amazing. But you, right. So that's what I need to work to. Like I was thinking about 10,000 a month. You're talking about 10,000 a day. So ten thousand a month would only be ten people, but but um, that's still amazing as well. Yeah, you spend a yeah. hundred bucks a day. You're spending three thousand a month, and you made ten. Yeah, that's why I even look at those numbers as well. Like I'm over here thinking ten thousand a day, but yeah, you're right. Even if I dumb it down and be like, damn, if I just did that per month, that profit margin is ridiculous. And and I haven't even got out of my freaking boxers. I'm still in my damn boxers, <laughs> right? Like I haven't even combed my damn hair. <laughs> so I'll take that all any damn day of the week, you yeah, know, true. but all I'm saying is that everything on the back end needs to be set up, right? Your okay. landing page software needs to be in place. This Facebook yeah. ad site needs to be in place. 
and I'll keep you posted and any questions I'll reach out to you. Thank you so much. Sounds good, Yvonne. God bless you. Stay in touch. Okay. Message me anytime you need me. Well, let me know how to fight. If there's any way I can help you with anything. Sounds good. Chat soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks again. You're welcome. Bye-bye.